Is Viagra safe? I get this question a lot and it's a very important question that needs to be answered before anybody decides to start Viagra. What's interesting is Viagra, also called Sildenafil, is one of the most commonly prescribed medications in the United States. The reason why is because erectile dysfunction is so very common. It's so common in fact that around 50% of people in their lifetime will have some form of erectile dysfunction. And unfortunately, erectile dysfunction can increase with age. One medication that can significantly help with erectile dysfunction is Viagra. But Viagra could potentially interact with several different medications or chronic diseases. That's why some people should never, I repeat, never take Viagra because of various contraindications. As a result, this video will go over some important facts about Viagra and answer the question, is Viagra safe? So let's dive in. Thanks to Let's Get Check for sponsoring this video. Check out the link below for any at-home testosterone screening kits, but please watch the rest of this video because it goes in a little bit more detail on these screening kits. If you're new to my channel and you like this video or like my content, please consider giving me a big old like and subscribe below. Also remember to stay at the very end because I'm going to discuss some fun facts about Viagra and also go over some natural ways to improve erectile dysfunction, so don't miss out. Viagra can be very dangerous in some people. That's why a lot of people have questions like, is Viagra safe? How do I take Viagra? What are the side effects of Viagra? And how does Viagra work? And these are great questions that I'm gonna to answer today. So first we need to go over the basics. What's Viagra actually used for? It's used specifically for erectile dysfunction, but sildenafil on the other hand can be used for pulmonary hypertension, Raynaud's along with other disorders. So what's erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction is the inability to have or maintain an erection. ED can be caused by a lot of different things like depression, type two diabetes, obesity, heavy alcohol use, smoking, cardiovascular disease, and even hypertension, high blood pressure, among other things. I really want you guys to pay attention to this. This is very important. Not only can men have ED due to various medical conditions, but this could further stress them out and make them feel depressed about not having an adequate erection and further exacerbate the issue. This could then bleed into the bedroom and impact the partner where they feel like they're not attractive enough and ultimately leads to further erectile dysfunction. And that's where Viagra can step in and be used as a tool to help a man maintain an erection and perform in the bedroom. Yeah. Keep in mind that significantly low testosterone could cause erectile dysfunction, but you also gotta remember that men naturally lose testosterone over time, starting at around age 30, and this is normal. For example, a man who's 25 should have a significantly higher testosterone than a man who's 80, unless that 80 year old is a genetic anomaly. If somebody has mild erectile dysfunction, this doesn't necessarily mean that they need to get their testosterone checked. On the other hand, if people have severe erectile dysfunction, low libido, severe fatigue, where they feel like they can't even get out of the bed in the morning, or if they're having severe depression, these could be potential signs that they have significantly low testosterone that may need to get checked. Some people can feel real embarrassed about their symptoms and they don't wanna go see a provider quite yet. And that's where Let's Get Checked can step in to where they can get their testosterone checked in the privacy of their own home. What happens is you order it online, they send it to your house, you complete it in the privacy of your own home, then send it back to their accredited lab. The awesome thing is they have an app so once your results are ready, you'll be able to download and look at it directly in the app. And if you're interested, I left a link in the description below with a discounted code to hook you guys up. Afterwards, whether it's severely low or normal, it's definitely important for you to follow up with your primary care provider to review the results because if it's normal, you still gotta figure out what's going on. So how does Viagra work? Viagra is a phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor and it comes in doses of 25 milligrams, 50 milligrams and 100 milligrams. I can go real in depth about nitric oxide, phosphodiesterase 5 inhibition, CGMP, but to be honest, in this channel, we keep things simple. Understanding the mechanism of action is not incredibly important unless you're a nursing student, a provider student, a pharmacist, 
But if you're interested, I left a brief paragraph on the mechanism of action in the description below. In a nutshell, Viagra is a vasodilator, meaning it's built to relax the blood vessels, allowing blood flow to certain areas of the body. With Viagra, it improves blood flow to the penis, specifically the corpus cavernosum, which results in an erection. Viagra only works with sexual stimulation and allows a man to keep and maintain an erection good enough for intercourse. Typically, it starts working around 30 to 60 minutes after taking the medication. You gotta remember that Viagra is not a magical pill where you take it and all of a sudden you have an erection. That's not the case. It requires sexual stimulation. So whenever somebody gets excited, it should work after around 30 to 60 minutes. So how do you take Viagra? Your provider may prescribe Viagra if you don't have any contraindications and also after discussing the risks, the benefits, and the alternatives. Usually a provider will start off at 25 milligrams, but some providers decide to start at around 50 milligrams, but it all depends on the particular patient. Viagra is an oral medication that's taken by mouth. It's taken around 30 minutes to four hours prior to sexual activity. It's very important to be in somebody's system so when they're sexually stimulated, it works. Also try to avoid really fatty foods on the days of taking this medication because that can impact its effectiveness. So what are the major adverse side effects to Viagra? People can develop hypotension, which is low blood pressure, and this could lead to dizziness in some people. Another one is hearing loss or auditory changes. Usually it's one-sided. Some people complain of tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. The good news is a lot of these symptoms are reversible and go away. Visual changes can occur, for example, sensitivity to light, blurred vision. Some people can have severe symptoms like complete blindness in one eye or both eyes. In those cases, you need to seek treatment as soon as possible. But the good news is most of these symptoms are reversible. And the next major side effect is priapism, which is a painful erection that lasts greater than four hours. Typically, this does not happen. It's quite rare. On the other hand, it's more common in people who are taking trazodone, amitriptyline, second generation antipsychotics, among other medications. Another bad side effect is an allergic reaction or anaphylaxis. So if somebody's having swelling in their face, the lips, the throat, having difficulty breathing, this is an emergency and they need to dial 911 or go to the nearest ER. But typically people don't have those severe side effects. They have more common side effects like headaches, flushing, dizziness, visual disturbances, nausea, stomach ache, and even some muscle pains. Remember that there's a lot of other potential adverse side effects, so it's very important that if you get prescribed this medication, always review the potential side effects and talk with your pharmacist and your provider. But remember that it all depends on somebody's genetics, their chronic medical history, and also what medications they're on. Speaking of medications, you wanna be careful about those drug interactions with Viagra. I talked about a few earlier, but you also wanna be careful with blood thinners, high blood pressure medications, nitrates like nitroglycerin, and also antidepressants. That's why it's very important. We talked about a lot of potential interactions with different medical conditions and medications. So it's very, very, very important for you to speak with a provider before you take this medication. Now, what you all been waiting for, the fun facts about Viagra. Number one, people should never take more than one dose of Viagra daily. That's very important. And in some cases, some people with certain medical conditions have to take it less. Number two, never consume grapefruit. I know, grapefruit or anything containing grapefruit while on Viagra. In some countries, Viagra can be purchased over the counter. In my opinion, that's bad because everybody should be consulting with a provider before starting this medication. Number four, never, ever, ever take Viagra with any recreational drugs. If somebody does, this can be bad. Some natural things that can significantly improve ED is maintaining a healthy weight, exercise, getting adequate sleep, taking care of your mental health, so avoiding stress, eating a well-balanced diet, low in red meats, avoiding alcohol, and avoiding smoking. I talked about a lot of potential scary adverse side effects, but keep in mind that this medication is well tolerated in most people. And most people don't have any adverse side effects at all or very little side effects, but each person is very different. 
Keep in mind that this video is for educational purposes only, so always talk to your pharmacist or medical provider if you have any questions or concerns or if you want to start this medication. With that being said, that wraps up today's video on is Viagra safe? I hope you learned a thing or two. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing below. Otherwise, until next time.